On this Windows SP Professional device, I will be installing a Windows 7 side by side with a Windows SP Professional. So right now, I've already inserted my Windows 7 DVD into this device. So what I need to do right now is to go to my computer and then double click on this DVD. So what I need to do is see you can see we have our Windows 7 operating system. Let me just click install now. So let's just wait for some minutes for the setup is starting to complete. Here it will go. And here it says do not get the latest update for installation, or we can go online to get the latest update. So let me select my second option and then accept the license terms and click next. Here I want to do go for the custom. You can actually upgrade your device, but I don't want to upgrade this device. I want to actually do a custom installation. So let's just do that and then click just click the custom installation you can see we have two options here first of all we have the partition c the partition c contains the windows 7 operating system right now and we have our second partition which is the windows 7 where we want to install the windows 7 so i'm going to select that and click next right now you can see it says copying windows file so let's just wait for the files to be copied and for the installation process to start so i'm going to pause this video and come back again when we are already at completing installation so here we go so the window just gets start up you see you can see it's starting windows and right now we are not seeing with the windows sp but we are all actually seeing uh windows 7 logo so now it's actually continuing the installation process you can see it's still installing windows so let's just wait for the installation of windows to continue you can see it's still expanding windows file so let's just wait for that and we can continue the installation process here you go you can see our device is actually starting up again so and so that the installation process can continue so this is going to take some time actually because you know installing a windows 7 device side by side windows sp may actually take some time so let's just wait for this process to continue i don't want to make this video so lengthy so that it doesn't become so boring so here it here it says setup is updating our registry and setup is starting our service you can see it says completing installation installing update and then the installation the installation will be completed and then during the startup we can actually choose which of the operating system we want to start with windows sp or our windows 7 so let's just wait for this to complete then we can continue here we go you can see we have the option to actually choose the earlier version of windows or windows 7 so if i decided to actually go to the earlier version i can actually go to back to my windows sp or we can actually choose the windows 7 operating system so let me just start the windows 7 operating system and then the installation process again can continue Here we go to actually continue the installation process. Here we can actually choose say, the country or region. I'm going to choose that I live in Belgium. So let me just search for Belgium and choose your time and currency format. It's going to be actually the Dutch Belgium. Let me just go down again here. Here we have our Dutch Belgium. And automatically you can see that the keyboard layout just got changed. So it says type a user's name. I'm going to call this. Let me just call this Kelvin. And then the PC name can just be Kelvin PC because it's actually a test environment. So let's enter a password for this installation process. I'm just going to enter a password. And then confirm your password. And then we can now enter a hint for our password. So let me just click next. And then we are actually asked to provide a product key but we can actually skip this for now and then use the recommended settings and this time zone i'm going to change this to brussels so let's go for the brussels time zone here we go and then i can just click next and it's going to be a home network so let's just wait for this to so connect it to your network and apply settings and then we can confirm our installation between the windows 7 and windows sp here we go you can see we have our windows 7 professional setup we continue after restarting 
your computer here you can see we can go for the earlier version but let me just continue with windows 7 and then later i can show you that we have our earlier version and our windows 7 at the same time So our desktop is being prepared for now. So let's just wait for the desktop to be prepared and then we can now confirm. But mind you, I'm actually using a VMware Workstation Pro. So because I'm using a VMware Workstation Pro, I will need to actually install the VMware tools on this device. So what I need to do is I'm going to actually just click install the VMware tools. Let me just install the VMware tools so that the display app that all can also be installed so let me just run setup and click yes so now what we can actually do is we can actually restart our device so let me just restart this let me just or what, what i can do is let me let me restart i'm going to restart a windows 7 operating system so by starting Windows 7 operating system, now we now have two options. I can now go back to an earlier version of Windows. You can see that's a Windows SP. So let me just try to. Here we go. You can see we have our Windows SP. Or I can decide to let me turn on this device and then restart. So our device is now logging off. Windows is shutting down. So we're going to restart this device and then switch to Windows 7. So which means that you now have two operating systems side by side each other. Which means you're having a here we go. You can see we have our Windows 7 or Windows um, elevation of Windows. And you have about 30 seconds to actually switch between the two operating systems. So let me start our Windows 7 on this device. Here we go, you can see we now have our Windows 7 operating system. So this is how you actually install and configure Windows 7 and Windows SP side by side each other. So you can actually switch between the two operating systems if you don't want to actually lose your Windows 7 and you want to still keep it and at the same time still keep Windows 7. Thank you very much for your time and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT related videos. And if you have any question about Windows 7, Windows 10, Windows 11 or Windows 8, you can always send me a personal email and I will reply to you as quick as possible. You can actually find my email when you visit my blog, that is the kelvglobal.com. From there, you can actually send me a personal email about your Windows operating system or your Windows Server, Office 365 or Microsoft Intune and I will reply to you as quick as possible. Bye.